Hello everyone. So in honor of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out on Disney Plus this week, I decided it would be a perfect time to show you guys how to make a Captain America shield. So this Captain America shield is a little different than the ones you've seen in the movies. This shield specifically is the new design that they're using for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And it showed up a little bit at the end of Avengers Endgame. The shield is very similar to the ones you've seen in the movies, but there are some small design details that have changed. So without further ado, Let's get on with the tutorial. So here I am just drawing out the circles of the shield using a homemade compass. And the template for this compass with all the correct circle sizes is in the link below. And now here I'm just cutting out the shape of the shield with an X-Acto knife. And I'm using my compass again to draw another circle which is going to be the new detail line on this new shield. So this next step I am just scoring these lines with an X-Acto knife and you want to make sure you're not cutting all the way through maybe about a couple millimeters. Now here I am heating up the shield with a heat gun and what this does is this opens up those lines that you just scored and it'll give it a nice separated look, which makes it look really cool. So here is an example of a line that has not been heated up. And here is a line that has been heated up. And as you can see, there's a little gap. And that makes it look a little more screen accurate. So here you can see the shield is just completely flat. But we want to have a little dome shape to the shield. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing out a little triangle with a point that comes to the center of the shield and you want to cut out this little section as I'm doing here. Excuse the gray hairs. So the glue that I use for foam is this Weldwood contact cement. And here I'm just putting some on one edge and I will be putting it on the other edge and you want to make sure that you give this about you know five minutes to dry just a little bit and after you let it sit for a few minutes this is when you want to stick them together and once it's stuck together this should never come apart. This glue is awesome stuff. So here I'm just combining those two parts of the shield and just making sure I have a nice even surface. And now you can see that there is a little bit of a dome shape. So now I am drawing the star in the shield. You can kind of see that I drew the star earlier, but I messed up, so I'm redrawing it. And here you can see I'm using a protractor. Each point of the star should be 72 degrees apart from each other, so that's what I did. Once you have your five points, you can connect them. Once you have the star shape, take your exact knife and score it again the same way you did for the lines of the rings. You want to take your heat gun again and heat that up. And again, this is just going to help you get that little gap between the lines. So here we are adding the new detail that's on the new shield. You want to get your straight edge and go from the center of the star to each point of the star and draw a line on that middle ring as I'm doing here. And then you want to draw a small little rectangle like I'm doing.
and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out each of those rectangles try to be as accurate as you can once you have that rectangle cut out you want to pull it out and then trim off just a little bit before you put it back in so you can have a little indentation there and you want to do that for five of those rectangles and this is what you should end up with I apologize for this part because I don't think I was recording how I drew that pattern on the inside but it's a pretty simple pattern I just drew it with a pen and I used a ruler to get some straight edges and using the same technique I'm just scoring all of those before I heat it up and this is what you should end up with So now we're going to work on the back side of the shield and I'm drawing a thin little rim that's going to be glued onto the back side. So I'm just going to add some more of that contact cement to this piece. I didn't have a big enough sheet of foam to do this in one piece, so I'm going to do it in two pieces. And once you glue on that outer ring, this is what you should end up with. And now I'm sketching out the bracket that's going to get glued onto the back of the shield, which is going to hold the leather straps. And I kind of just freehanded this. You guys can play around with it with whatever you think looks best. You're going to want two of these pieces to glue on the back as I'm showing here. Once you have a spot that you like, trace out that piece just so you know where to place it. So now we're adding that contact cement again onto the shield and we will be adding contact cement to the back side of that bracket. So now here I'm starting to paint it, I'll, all I'm doing to the front side is adding a layer of silver spray paint. I think I added about three coats before I got a consistent color. Once you have a solid layer of silver, you can start adding the red paint. I'm just using a foam brush and some brush on acrylic paint. I hate taping shields so instead of taping I just carefully add red paint with a brush. So those lines in the shield help a lot with not painting over the lines. Here you can see you can use your foam brush and just carefully go along that circle without crossing over. And I would highly recommend using a foam brush because it has a nice chisel end which makes it a lot finer and easier for control. So here is the shield with all of the red paint on. And now I'm just painting the edges of that shield red. Now for the blue, I took some metallic blue paint and I mixed some black into it to get a bit of a darker color. And now using another foam brush, I just add that blue paint on carefully making sure not to cross over the lines. And again the foam brush makes it real easy not to do that.
So now for the leather straps, I found this leather at Hobby Lobby. I thought it was a little bit too bright of a color, so I just added some brown acrylic paint to it and sealed it with Mod Podge. And that seemed to work pretty well. So the leather straps have a metal bracket on it, and I found these 3D printed pieces I had laying around that I thought would work perfect for that. And I will post the 3D files for that in the description below. So on the back of the shield, I'm cutting out these slits on the brackets, and that is where we're, we're going to glue in the leather straps. You can also do this step before you glue the brackets in. Here I take that 3D printed bracket and I thread that piece of leather through. And here you can see me just test fitting, making sure that the leather fits my arm. So to put that leather strap in, I just use some crazy glue. I just fill the slots with some glue and then I stick the straps in. And that should hold pretty well. And here I'm adding four pieces of leather to those angled pieces there. And I just stuck that on with some super glue. And for the finishing touch, I just used a silver sharpie and I draw in some fake bolts. And that should be the last thing you need to do for this shield. And here is the final product. As you can see, it's really not that difficult of a build. And it might even be easier if you guys use spray paint instead of brushing on acrylic paint. I know the shield is not 100% perfect. You know, there's a line going down the middle. But if you look at it really fast, you won't really notice that it's there. I mean, see, I didn't even notice that it was there. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope you guys try it out for yourself. I'm super excited for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Thank you guys for watching. As always, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys soon in the next video.